Hey everybody, Scott Smith, Rusnak BMW, Southern Sunny California here. So uh, one thing I want to show you today is we got one of the new first 2016 uh, M5 BMW, one of our sedans here in the Singapore gray with the black interior. Just want to do a little walk around. Now there hasn't been any real major changes from the 15 to the 16. But still, what an amazing car. Now this one does have the executive package, which one thing included there is your full adaptive LED lights. You can see we've also got this one with the black kidney grill. And let's move around to the wheels. Now these are the upgraded 20 inch wheels. They're a $1,300 charge over the 19s. This is style 343M, which is nine and a half inches in the front and 10 and a half inches wide in the rear. I know there's two sets of 20s you can pick from. This is the wider of the two. Then you got your M compound brakes there. It's gonna come with your M5. Let's go ahead and go to the back. Trish, give us a little rev time. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Let's go to the front, we'll look underneath the hood. Hey guys, it is a BMW M Twin Power V8. So it is a twin turbo, twin scroll engine, 4.4 liter. 560 horsepower. Wow. 560 horsepower at 6,000 RPMs. 500 foot-pounds of torque at 1,500 RPMs. All right, let's close that up. Whoops, let me give it a little bit of a harder push. There we go. But man, what a nice color, this Singapore gray. Hey, Trish. Hello. How's it going? Cool, let's go back. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so Scott and I wanted to show you guys the very easy feature and the kick to open function on the truck. So, if you go like this. Let's see. Oh, we have to have the key in our hands, right? That's right, why don't you go oh, grab it, right Trish. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> she forgot. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. No problem. Okay, so, you'll see the lights flash and then the trunk will pop right open. Perfect, guys. And this one is a full power trunk, so you can kick it closed when your hands are full when you got that last load going in from the garage. So they do come with a 60-40 split seat. Also, you can see underneath here, guys, we do have the gel pack because these do come with traditional high-performance tires, non-run flats. Also, here's our front license plate mount. We don't put it on unless the client wants it. All right, let's close it up here. Now, last thing you're gonna do, push that. It locks and closes, or if you just wanna close, push that button. Let me head over to the sticker. Just wanna show you some stuff here. Definitely one of the most popular packages is that executive package. Let's see if we can get that thing to... And you can see there's a lot of major items that come in with that package. And I'll just go down the list here. Got the sun coming in on my screen here, so hopefully that stuff's coming across. One thing we wanted to mention was the trim we have on this one. So we do have some different trim, not the carbon fiber inside that we're used to seeing. So being a 16, they do have some different trims and this one was ordered with it. But you can see there 104, just over 104. We got the black kidney grills ordered. And then let's see that trim we have along here. Let's see, where do we have it guys? You might see it on the list here, but there was a, a special trim, aluminum trace trim. So I'll show you that when we get inside. Show you the back seat here. This one does have the four zone air conditioning system. That's part of that executive package. And you've also got the rear heated seats. So you see that. There's some of that trim on the back door. You can see we got the rear shades, both windows. Also the rear one is power. Give you another shot here from the back. Got your little spoiler, it's signature for the M5. Shadow line exterior on the outside. Let's move inside with Trish. 
All right, let's get in where it's cool. Man, it's hot out there. Yeah. All right, Trish, what would you like to talk about? All right, so why don't we show them the very unique um, interior line here. So this is very different than yeah, what we've seen Yeah, there you go, before. guys. Yeah, I know we're used to getting the um, carbon fiber in these, but it's kind of neat to kind of switch it up a little bit and have something a little different. All right. And then I guess we could talk about the nav system too. So, yep, here's our nav. Um, you can see here, this is the satellite image of the navigation. Um, How about we brighten it a little bit? Right. I'm getting a little bit that sun there. I'm getting a... We'll just turn up the brightness all the way. That way it'll come across a little bit. Maybe we should back up. What do you think? We can do that camera. Show them that. Yeah. There we go. All right. Cool. That's perfect right there. Yeah, it comes out a lot better. Okay. So back to our map. Yeah, so there's our map, guys. All right. So we can zoom in on our map. You can see the highlighted areas will display the traffic information. If you zoom in there, you can see the yellow areas, the green areas. If it's red, that means there's something definitely going on. Um, you will be offered a detour. Uh, if you have an address inputted into the system, you'll see a detour offered right here. So, um, and the navigation does update every three minutes. So a lot of people still like to use Waze or Google Maps, um, but our actual navigation system on the iDrive is a lot better, way more improved, um, and it gives you satellite images. So it's really, really useful. That's cool. Yeah, this is the current 4.2 version. Um, one thing we wanted to show you too is with the M5s is also controlling the attitude of the vehicle. So that's one thing we've got down here with the different buttons as you can see. We've got what? We've got engine management is the second one, then suspension and then steering. This one up here does control your um, traction control. Also your sensors for parking, camera, and then the attitude adjustment on the transmission. So it's really nice. Um, as you guys, some of you guys have mentioned on the steering wheel about the M buttons. So that's kind of nice. You've got the one and two there, so you can customize the driving style. Um, and then also you guys said, you know, if you have it set up in there, in the display, you can hold down the M button and that'll lock in all the settings right away. So it's kind of a nice feature. And then you got what, the paddle shifters there, Trish? Here's your paddle shifters. Got those. And then you've got your, what, your cruise control over there. And then we got voice command buttons on this side, adjustments for uh, volume, radio, even phone history up in the heads up display. Definitely very nice. And then there's the headliner, guys. Traditional to the M5s, Alcantara. Cool. Trying to think anything else, Trish. Guess inside, obviously, guys, we got the plug-in for the phones, auxiliary, USB. There's your lockout for the trunk. It seems like they've done the uh, center material here a little bit differently. It almost looks like a matte black, um, very soft. So that's nice too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great touch they've done on this. Good size glove box. Also, you do have memory for both. As you can see here, both sides there's memory. And also with the executive package, you do have the um, active seats. So kind of a massaging effect that you have on the lower extremities. <laughs> and then you've a lot better cup holders from back in the day. Definitely a lot better. Cool. And then for the ventilated seats, you've got them here actually on both sides. And then there's your heated seats there. And then the dual climate control, obviously. And then the eight buttons, Trish, what can we do with those? Um, so these are hot keys, AKA shortcut keys, AKA presets. Um, when you scroll your finger over them, you can see what you have saved under each one. Um, and you can save anything um, as a shortcut key that you can highlight in red on the iDrive system. So phone numbers, addresses, radio stations, anything you can think of, you can save as a hot key. Great. So, um, and then I also wanted to show the viewers the key. Um, a lot of people really dig the design of the BMW key. Um, so you can unlock the doors with this one. This one will pop the trunk. This is locking the vehicle in the center and they sound the alarm. Um, and then you also have this great feature right here. You can press this and if you're new to BMW brand, this is a, kind of a little secret. You can press that button there and your valet key will pop out. So say you go to the valet, um, you would give them the valet personnel this you would keep this and what's really great is you can lock up this right here so 
what you would do is you put personal belongings in here. You can actually lock the trunk from here. So you can put personal belongings in the trunk as well. You would lock this, close this up, lock this, and be on with the night. And no cool. one would have access to that except for you. Great. And then we know with the M5s, with this particular model, we do have the comfort access is going to be standard. So that way the key can stay in your pocket or stay in your purse. Um, but then true, you've definitely got that nice valet feature to lock out multiple um, departments, uh, compartments for different valuables. Cool. And then guys, you can see in the dash there, you got a lot of different information, obviously transmission, the big gauges, and then you can see in the tack there, you've got different settings for the suspension and different things like that too in the steering. And then over in the speedometer, you can see where Trisha's point, you've got your onboard computer. Cool. Well, cool. Thanks, Trish. Yeah. If you guys have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comments below and we will try to answer them. Have cool. All right. Guys, let me get you more shots on the outside of the car. You can see definitely this one with these 20s with these black wheels definitely give it a whole different look. And it's kind of nice that, you know, we can get black wheels on a lot of our different models from the factory. That way it's not something dealt with aftermarket wise dealing with warranties or anything like that. Not to say that some of the aftermarket um, products aren't amazing. There definitely is some very cool stuff for this car and the whole line of BMW. And also remember BMW does make a lot of their own performance um, items for their cars. So if you want to make these cars even more exclusive, you know, definitely check out BMWUSA.com. Also here at our dealership, we got the privilege of having the Dynan Performance products here. So BMW mechanics, technicians, they install it. We've got the warranties behind it. So if there's anything you guys need, even if you already own a BMW, just send me an email. Go to the About section of my channel. I'll get you hooked up with the right guy and we can modify your car. Hey, if you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Share it with your other media sources. Definitely, and uh, thanks for watching.